1837, Hearts of Iron 4, Black Eyes mod, normal mode. Summary of the first year of the war. I made a few mistakes, nothing major, but also not too good. Uh, I forgot about the intelligence agency because I didn't get a uh, reminder. I probably misclicked and removed it. So I have not been uh, upgrading my uh, agency branch upgrades, which now takes 75 days complete. I guess I saved a couple of civilian factories this way, but that means I'm lagging behind uh, in the intelligence war. I'm new to this and, and I totally forgot about it for, for half a year, maybe more. Now I started a uh, infiltrate civilian administration uh, operation in France, which and I hope to be able to steal industrial blueprints in the long run. I sent my two operatives uh, to to do this, um, <coughs> I am not too far away from finishing uh, an intelligence network in France, and I think I'm about at 75% in Poland. Whatever that's gonna uh, mean for me, uh, it's a blue star now. It used to be a green shield before. So that that was a mistake. That part of the war, um, as to regards of the the focus tree. I think I've done okay. I managed to get uh, some airplanes to give to Franco and I have managed to support Spain with uh, oh, where are they? Over here. Whatever. Uh, and I am now ready to research uh, Panzer IIs. Other than that, I, I basically picked a few here and there. A few doctrines, a few productions. Army size, mm, I have almost done nothing except a few infantry divisions uh, that you get from the event chain. So I think I am now on about. Do I have 36 infantry divisions? Yeah, something like that, which is okay. I think I started with 24. So basically, it's. Uh, and other than that, I basically done nothing but a few, one infantry division, I think one or two coast or coastal artillery battalions, and doing some marines. So nothing major. Well, I haven't built any uh, military factories except a few from focuses, but I uh, have starting to save up a few tanks and anti-tank guns, and still lagging behind in horse transports a lot. E even light artillery, have to recheck this infantry equipment and field uniforms. So, with my new, uh, I get two military factories. I know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with that. It's not gonna be new fancy uh, fighters, as Mrs. Smith 109s. No, it's gonna be uniforms and horses. So that's it. Um, war in Spain. My airplanes got. Uh, transferred back to Germany. I think my air, air base was overrun, and I haven't really been able to. We we uh, eliminated Bilbao. I'm I'm sending support, and I'm doing the the event chain, events and decisions here as as fast as I can. Um, giving industrial support, etc., etc. And I'm giving actually giving some uh, land leads on top of this. So I'm hoping in the long run, but it's not going to be a walk in the park to win this war. I don't know. I have my two Panzer divisions down here fighting. Uh, internationally, I don't know what's happening. Uh, there are some purges in the Soviet Union. So basically, a few medium and minor mistakes. But uh, other than that, I think the campaign is progressing uh, okay. I will uh, now do a separate uh, stream of the first half of 1937, but I wanted to do this short little summary. My plan for 1937 is probably to go over a bit from uh, civilian, civilian factory production to, I guess, uh, oil and rubber refineries. Okay, I, I can't even build rubber refineries yet. I need improved oil plant first. 
Mm, I don't think I'm gonna build fuel silos quite yet because I'm hoping to be able to trade a lot r right before the war and, and st start in increasing production first. So that that's my plan. Should I build uniform factory? Each factory will reduce the production cost of uniform equipment. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I have to do a check a bit about this and, and then I'll come back. So, uh, five minutes, 1937 plants. That's it. See you in the next one.